You're walking into the Provo River in Heber Valley in Utah in the mountains. I'm going to fish the caddis hatch. Yes, they're at this Mother's Day caddis. Fishing with a, a nymph, a bounce rig. Have a, have a float, have a sinker on the bottom, have a couple of flies, and when the, when the indicator shows you, or float goes under, then you strike and hook a fish like that. You have to play them carefully because it's a small, it's a small hook. You don't want to just jerk them in. A lot of people play them too hard, I think, and, and they, the fish, uh, the hook pulls out and uh, injures the fish. A lot of people say, well, you know, you want to play them hard so you don't wear them out. I, I personally don't like to rip their mouth apart by jerking them in because it depends on where you have them hooked. Caught that one all right. This Let's get a close look at this thing. Nice 20. Caddis emerging. Our friend Steve Sapanis. Steve Sapanis is a good fisherman. He's got one on there. Now he's not he's not using, using the same fly, but uh, he's also fishing deep with an imp and an indicator. This is a nice run coming into a pool and the, the fish are feeding on these caddis. They, are, they hatch out of the water and then they you know, then they are they're flying around there to mate and, and uh, lay eggs and so forth. So what I'm trying to do, or what I'm not trying to, what I'm doing is we're fishing in this inlet here, this where this rapid comes into this pool and that's where the fish are waiting for these midge, these uh, caddis uh, emergers to come down. They're not taking very many on the top so we might as well fish under. Of course sometimes the the fish are taking something that you don't know, and it seems obvious that they'd be taking the the uh, the caddis, and that's what the case is this time. But sometimes it'll fool you. Sometimes you see the insects, and and you you get to make the have the wrong impression. They may be taking something else. Another nice trout. These are all brown trout, about 15, 16 inches long. There's a blackbird chowing down on the on the uh, caddis. It's always if you see the birds like that, you know that there's a hatch. Oop, we got a we got another one on there. This is the wild fish. It's hard to land them when they're downstream from you like that. That's better to move down and get to the side of them. Keep pressure on as you move down, but not too much pressure. Get some sideways pressure. See if you can get them out of the main current. That's that's the best way to land them. It's just almost impossible to bring them straight up against the current. They, they flop around and the hook just pulls out, or you break them off. Another one, this is about 14, 15 inches. Release him just like we released all the others. There's a couple of geese there on the, on the bank. They've got little ones. 
they're uh, they're heading out done for the day that's the same thing that I'm going to do we're, we're, we're done the hatch is over we're going to head out just like that yeah.